The only thing uh, more intense, folks, than the stretch run in college basketball is the competition for the high score in our weekly 10 questions quiz. It's time for the skinny mic. It's time for 10 questions. Scott Hill has the skinny mic for me after we check the leaderboard. Look at this. How did it, how do we have so many guys get nine for 10? Nobody gets 10 on this thing. Uh, one, two, three, four, seven guys, including Heath last week, have got nine for 10. So. The challenge is to you, Ryland. Can you be our first and only 10 for 10 of this season? Thank you, Scott, with the skinny mic. And here we go. Question number one. You scored your first points as a BYU Cougar. Regular season we're talking about in the season opener against Mississippi Valley State. Were those points scored on A, a two-point field goal, B, a three-point field goal, or C, a free throw? I would say, was it a two-point field goal? <laughs> three pointer. Three. From, I three from deep. Game. From deep in the open. Oh, was it? Number two. Your dad, Roberto, played BYU twice, as we talked, as a member of the Boise State basketball team in the late 90s. What was the Broncos' record in those two games? Um, one and one. <laughs> BYU, unfortunately, was 0 2 in those games. Oh, Boise wow. won them both. Boise won them both. Uh, question three. Besides yourself, who are the other three players on the BYU roster from the great state of Idaho? Braden, McKay, and then Colby. We count Colby. You got it. Three for three. Good job. According to the NCAA rule book, each basket ring or each hoop is how many feet above the floor? Each basket. Uh, yeah, how, 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 how high off the floor is the basket? Oh, 10 feet. 10 feet, yeah. 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 Don't overthink <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. 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 You got it. Uh, question five. Your dad, Roberto, and former BYU Cougar Travis Hansen were both drafted in the second round of the NBA draft by this team. The Atlanta Hawks. Yep. Okay. One WCC school shares its team nickname with that of your high school and your prep school. Which WCC school is it? So at Bora and at Link, you're both the? Lions. So what WC school is the Lions? I don't know. Um, is it Loyola Marymount? Hey. Hey, there okay. you go. Good job. Okay. <laughs> From one set of cats to another, Dave Rose is the head coach of the Cougars and played his college ball for another batch of Cougars at which university? It was a... Uh... Coach Rose played for University of? Houston. <laughs> yeah. yep. You got it, yes. Bring them up. Houston is right. Uh, question eight. Which of your teammates currently leads the Cougars in assists? Is it TJ? It is TJ with 125. Mm -hmm. All right. We're down to our last two questions for you. As a high school player and a prep school player, you wore the jersey number 35. Why did you choose that number? Um, I think, honestly, when I was at Bora, I chose that number my sophomore year because I kind of had the last pick of numbers because I was like <laughs> one of the few sophomores on the team, and I liked it and just stuck with it. Liked it and kept it. All right. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and number 10, at BYU, you wear jersey number one. Why did you choose that number? I chose that number. I was, I've always wanted to be number one, so I was growing up because my favorite player is Tracy McGrady. So I've, I've always been number one on Hoop Dreams and stuff. Okay, there it is. That's also correct. All right. You finished strong. Really strong yeah, on this one. I'm not sure you make it to the first page of the leaderboard. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're, he's tied for eighth. So there yeah. you go. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We have a seven-way tie for first. You're tied for eighth. <laughs> so that's good. Uh, how, folks, have a hand for uh, Ryland Bergerson here tonight. Nicely done.